So this is actually a pre-production Model Year 24 8R tractor that I'm standing here in front of this morning. Model Year 24 has a lot of new technology features, a lot of new precision ag tech features within it. One of the things for the first one to start with is the G5 display. So the G5 Plus display like you see in here, if you're familiar with the Gen 4 displays that we've had in our tractors the last several years, this has the same user interface, but it's bigger, it's a crisper display, uh, and it also operates a lot faster as well. And so this display is not only easier to interact with, but also makes uh, technologies that we're using now and in the future uh, capable for our tractors to run. And so you can think of things like the autonomy system uh, as well as one of those things that the Gen 5, G5 display is capable of operating. Model Year 24 tractors also have Starfire 7000 receivers integrated into them right from the factory. So any precision ag that a customer wants to do, we can do that right from the factory. There's not third parties and whatnot that they have to deal with to make to get them capable to use those um, precision ag features. From a creature comfort standpoint, you may notice too, we have a rear tinted window on this tractor as well. So if you're operating long sunny days, you can be a little more comfortable with that rear tinted window on here. Finally, the last thing I'd touch on is what we call the autonomy prep option. And so uh, we are displaying our autonomous concept here today at the show. There are a lot of features, a lot of components that we know tractors will need to operate autonomously in the future. G5 displays and Starfire 7000 being a few of them. Uh, there's also a few other hardware components that we know you'll need those on your tractor to run autonomously in the future and so we wanted to bundle those together into an autonomy prep option. That's things like a large alternator, backup alarm, some additional harnessing, also what we call a rear implement ethernet too. Which, is, which allows high bandwidth data from the tractors back and forth to the implement. While we're here, we can touch on the, uh, the autonomous perception system as well. And so our technologies over the last several years have essentially been able to run almost autonomously, but with the customer in the cab. Technologies like AutoTrack turn automation, do end row turns, AutoTrack allows you to steer, or allows the tractor to steer itself in the field. However, we've, also, we've always had that operator in the cab to monitor the machine performance, to monitor any anomalies, things like that in the fields that they may encounter. With the autonomous system like we have here in front of us or on the back of the cab, it's now looking for anything that it may not recognize that's, that's out in the field, such as uh, a large tile blowout that, that it doesn't know is there. It's going to say, hey, I don't recognize that, and it'll stop or steer around it. And so, you know, autonomy has become a very hot topic in agriculture as farmers think about how they're going to get all the work done in a short period of time, especially when you think about how difficult it can be to find skilled labor to do those jobs. Um, autonomy helps to take away a few of those pain points, and so it's something that we've been working on for a number of years at John Deere, and we'll continue to uh, for the next few years. And we think it's appropriate to be starting to show this technology it's at some of our shows to help signal to the market, signal to customers, now's the time to be getting ready. So if you're not doing things like in John Deere Operations Center, if you're not documenting every pass, if you're not using RTK levels of correction on your farm, now are the time, now is the time to be doing some of those things. So we know a lot of growers spend long days in the field and you know it, being comfortable during those long days can make a long day seem really short, especially if you're talking, you know, not only the end of the first day, but the end of that 20th day. And so a couple of the creature comfort features uh, that I'd point out in here, uh, first one would be the seat. And so this seat is heated, ventilated, and probably the one of the neatest features about it is it actually has massaging capabilities within it as well. So a little uh, button here inside the armrest, you can actually kick on the, the massage feature there. The back window you might notice is a lot darker than the side windows and the windshield. And new for Model Year 24, we actually have rear window tint as optional equipment on our large tractors. I mentioned the G5 display earlier as well, so you can see it's a lot bigger. Uh, we don't have it powered on here, but it's crisper display, crisper screen. And then the new corner post is also larger as well. And I can show you down below on uh, this simulator actually has the new display powered on as well. Okay. This tractor is equipped with John Deere CTIS or central tire inflation. And so what that does is it allows you to 
inflate or deflate your tire pressures right from the cab. And you may be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, when you're on road, especially with the heavy rear implement, even a plant or something like that, it's wise to have your tires inflated higher than it is when you're in the field. When you're in field, when you have whatever that implement is unfolded, working, you're running slower, you should have your tires, uh, your tire pressure decreased when you're there. Think maybe, say, 15 in the field, for instance, 30 on the road. However, most folks aren't adjusting or maybe in some cases even checking their tire pressure on a regular basis. And so central tire inflation makes it easy to adjust those tire pressures. You bump them up when you're transporting to the field and then hit the field mode on the display and it'll deflate the tires uh, so that it's more of a field appropriate level of inflation at that point. So it'll adjust up and down at approximately two PSI per minute. So a lot of the technology features are available across the board. So sevens, eights, nines, all for model year 24 will have G5 displays. They will all have Starfire 7000 receivers. Uh, CTIS is available on 8Rs. The autonomy prep option is on eights and nines. Um, rear implement ethernet is on sevens, eights, and nines. So yeah, we definitely invite growers to visit with their local John Deere dealer or johndeere.com for you know, additional information about compatibility, upgrades, things like that. The local deer dealer is definitely the best place, best resource for them.